Hello friends. Welcome to our YouTube learning channel. Accurate. ASME. ISO. In this video we will learn about total run out of faces with datum axis. This video is focused on measurement challenges on 3D CMMs. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share video for others. Let's begin now. Let's define the clear objective of this video. It is Why same component measures different results on two different CMMs? This presentation is the demonstration of the real case study for the measurement of total runout of a face. Repeatability Reproducibility and correlation influenced by few of the uncertainties like Roughness error Form error Probing error Datum error And Projection error The drawing requirement shown is total runout of the top face, with reference to datum cylinder. The tolerance feature plane is top surface of the component. The area is bounded by the diameter of 105 mm and the datum feature is whole as cylinder of diameter 10 mm. The challenges in measurement are a small length of the datum cylinder, proportionate large surface area of tolerance plane, and more separation gap between both features. From next slides we will understand how these parameters are affecting the measurement and correlation results. The measurement strategy for plane measurement, for number and distribution of probing points is. Total number of points are 24. Points distributed in circular patterns. Two circular patterns 12 points each. After finishing of the measuring points a mathematical algorithm of software is used to fit the plane geometry. The algorithm used in this case is least square method. It is also called as Gauss method or simply best fit method. Two parallel planes encompassing all the points is called as form error. In this case it is a flatness error. The measurement strategy for cylinder measurement is Total number of points are 24 Points distributed in circular patterns 3 circular patterns 8 points on each The mathematical algorithm used is Gauss method Encompassing all the center points in a cylindrical tolerance zone is called a form error or straightness error of cylinder. This animation explained the how influenced parameters are contributing uncertainty in the measurements. The major contributing factor is form error of the surfaces flat, circular or profile. The measured flat surface as a plane can be oriented in any of the direction but within the form tolerance zone, flatness. In this case flatness measured is 0.04 mm. Similarly measured cylinder axis can be oriented in any of the direction but within the form tolerance zone. In this case straightness measured is 0.05 mm which is a cylindrical tolerance zone. Orientation of plane with respect to datum cylinder axis became deviated than 90 degrees so as changing the total run out as deviation. The third error which is more important than form is separation distance between two features. To calculate the total tolerance, actual datum axis is projected until it intersects to measure best fit plane. 
total run out then calculated the deviation from the 90 degrees variations and up to range of 105 mm or actual length probe. This is another case where flatness measured is 0.04 mm and straightness measured is 0.04 mm. The error of straightness is reduced by 0.01 mm in this case. This will constrain orientation more accurately than previous. Again to calculate the total tolerance, Actual datum axis is projected until it intersect to measure best fit plane. Total runout then calculated the deviation from the 90 degrees variations and up to range of 105 mm or actual length probed. This runout measured is 0.100 mm. In previous case of straightness of 0.05 mm it was 0.125 mm. Comparing the results of two different CMM is that, total runout is varied from 125 microns to 100 microns. The causes of the variations are, form error difference, measured 50 microns and 40 microns. This 10 microns variation increases run out by 25 microns because of the projection error. Datum cylinder length is too short compared to tolerance feature plane. Suppose, flatness is increased to 50 microns from 40 microns, the total runout further increases to 135 microns. Conclusions Repeatability, reproducibility and correlation of measurements depends on Form errors of the features Length of the datum features Projection errors if features are distance apart. In such situations we can apply many controls to improve the measurement results. Applying geometric controls on datum features will be discussed in part 2. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked and enjoyed while learning. Please do not forget to subscribe and share the video for learning. Please be in contact us for the training programs on GDNT CMM Stack Up Tolerances and Occam Germany courses on Metrology.